Free family fun caught in the middle of a new project. So that's the crux of a fight this afternoon in St. John's County, where one of the busiest beach access points on the first coast tonight still remains closed. At issue, heavy equipment needed to restore and rebuild the eroded beach is being uh, parked at the Michaelers Landing parking lot and could be there for months. On your side's Nick Perot is joining us from Michaelers Landing tonight. And Nick, as of right now, that lot is set to reopen to seven days a week in February. But that change, will that change? That's the question tonight following today's meeting. Well, Heather, that is the question following tonight's meeting. I want to make an interesting note. This actually was not even on the St. John's County Commissioner's agenda. This is something that people had brought it to their attention. Commissioners decided to take this up throughout the morning, but can tell you as of right now, as we set off the top, this is closed five days a week. Will that change? It is something we can tell you tonight that county administrators are reviewing if they make a change to open this maybe to seven days a week. County commissioners, I think, were as concerned as we were um, and was as surprised as we were to find our beach closed five days a week. Nicole Crosby is not OK with seeing these big trucks instead of cars and beachgoers in front of Michaelers Landing. The parking lot is currently closed five days a week after county commissioners approved a private plan to let some homeowners place geotubes, similar to large sandbags near a dozen homes. The goal is to slow erosion following hurricanes Matthew, Irma, and Dorian. Being a very limited access, access to the beach in Ponte Vedra, this is critical. In October, county commissioners signed off on using the lot for construction equipment. But Commissioner Jeremiah Blocker said he would not have given the okay if it meant closing the parking lot for five days a week. But this is not what I understood that we were agreeing to. Blocker understands why homeowners want to use geotubes to protect their property but argues that should not come at the cost of limiting access to the rest of the county. We knew that was going to have this much of an impact. We should have provided more notice to the public so they could come in here before we made this decision, not after. Commissioners unanimously voted to have staff meet with a contractor to discuss how it can continue operations while opening more access to the beach. We just want to get back out there on our beach. Well, it's unclear how many days and what times the largest lot in Ponte Vedra will be open. Crosby considers this a win. This was really a great county effort. I would hope that within, you know, two days that we're back out on that beach. And back out here live due to public health and safety concerns, county administrators say this will remain closed as usual right now. Again, five days a week only open here on the weekends. But county administrators say following this, they're going to review that contract, talk to the contractor to make sure they can continue work here, but opening access possibly keyword possibly here for those residents hoping to use Michaelers Landing. We're Michaelers Landing, Nick Perot, First Coast News on your side.